Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and in today's video, I want to show you how to make a little bat wing costume for your rats. So this here is the end result. You can see the wings are pretty stable. They don't really fall down because they have this support, and the rat's body goes here, and it stays on them as they go around. So anyways, the first thing that I did to make this was I found a bat wing cutout online. And that's because I really can't draw, so if you can draw, maybe you can just draw a template out or cut it out freehand, but I had to get a template like this. I basically traced it off my computer, and then I used it to cut out bat wings from my fabric. So for my fabric here, I just have some felt, and I'm going to be folding it over so that I can get two wings from just cutting out this one template. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out real quick and then go on to the next step. Okay, so now I have my two bat wings, as you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and join them right up in the middle like that. So to do that, I'm going to take some of my scrap material here and I'm going to cut off a little piece that can fit right in the middle, so like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually glue it on the side that you're not going to be seeing. So in this case, that is this side. I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue there. And I'm using hot glue. So then I'm going to cover that up with a little piece. You can see like that. There we go. And the next thing you want to do is you want to get some pipe cleaner. So I have some pipe cleaner right here. And in the case of my rats, I found that they need a circle that's around two inches across. So since I already have this circle template here, I'm just going to copy it. And you can see I wrap it around like that. And I have left a little bit right here so that I can just wrap this pipe cleaner around itself to make it nice and stable. So once you do that side, you want to do the same to the other side, like that. And then we're going to hot glue this, well, part of it, onto the little costume part. So you can see I'm just going to do a little bit of hot glue right there, and I'm going to attach it right in the middle. And then you want something that can go across. So I'm just going to get a small piece of fabric here. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that. So just need to a little bit of glue on each side. And then I'm going to add this right there on top. Okay. So that's going to help keep it all together. Just gonna pat that so that it dries. And you can see the problem now is that the wings are just too floppy to really stay up while the rat is moving around. So this is where using the pipe cleaner as support comes in. And what I want to do is I basically just take it here and I wrap one edge of the pipe cleaner around the middle, so like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and trace a long oval along the wing. That's going to be the support. And then I'm going to wrap the other edge around the circular part, so just like that. And then I'm just gonna cut off this little extra bit, like that. And then move on to the other side and do the exact same thing. So wrap around this edge, like that. And then extend it out, make that oval. And finish by wrapping around the circle in the middle. And then, you just cut off some of that excess and now what we want to do is you want to hot glue these support pieces to the wing itself so I just flip it over put a little bit of hot glue on the pipe cleaner top turn it over and then pat it down so you want it to be directly on there perfect and then do the other side. So again, you see like that. I'm gonna flip it over again. Just put it 
directly onto the ring itself. I'm just getting glue string everywhere. Okay. Right. Okay. And when you're done, if you want, you can glue a little piece across the middle, which is what I'm going to do for some extra support. It's a lot easier if you don't have a bunch of little uh, sparkly dots on your thing, but I decided I wanted to try and make a wing set with these little sparkly things. So I'm just going to put a little cross piece in the middle to help keep it together. I shouldn't have any trouble, but just extra support. And there you go. That is another set of wings. The other thing I want to do is make a hat for this. And for that, I basically am going to cut out a circle that is around two inches across again. And I actually already did that, so I have this here. And then I'm going to take another pipe cleaner and make a small uh, circle to go on top. And this is where the rat's head is going to go through, and I make mine around an inch and a half wide. So a little bit shorter than the body piece. So I have, again, another template. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap that up. And then we're going to do pretty much exactly what we did with the wings. Just glue it on and then put some felt over it to prevent any sort of chafing and just kind of help keep it together. So I'm going to glue this to the bottom here. Just right across. Right there. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and again put a piece of felt across it. So I have some scrap felt right here. I'm just going to use that. So this is a sparkly little hat. And in my case, what I want to do is I want to make little bat ears for it. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut those out. Oops. There we go. And I have my two little ears. I'm just going to glue them right on top. And then I also want to add a little bit of color. So I'm going to go ahead and glue an inside part too. So just a smaller triangle inside the bigger triangle. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue that right in the center. So this is the full costume. This and this, you can see it goes together. Okay, so the final step now is to make the piece that's going to connect to these two to make sure they don't fall off the rat. And I'm going to make mine about an inch and a half long. There we go, that should be better. Now I'm going to hot glue on some of this Velcro. So I put the soft Velcro on all of my hats. So I'm gonna put that right here where the glue is. And then I'm going to put the um, other side of the Velcro onto the bottom here. And then I'm also going to do that to this piece right here, which is going to be connecting them when it's on the rat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. First, I actually want to cut a piece in half because I only want half a piece for each side. And to start, I'm just going to glue this to the bottom of the wings. So, see right here? I'm just gonna get some glue there and apply it right there on the bottom, right in the center. And then, let's see. I'm going to do the same with the soft stuff. So first I'm going to put it on the hat. Just out of sight, but far on the back. So like that. Then I'm going to do the same to this piece here. So I'm going to have this piece connecting like this. You can see. And so I want this side right here to have the scratchy stuff and the other side to have the soft stuff. So after this dries, I'm going to go ahead and try it on one of my rats, so you can see how it looks. But basically, it's going to look like this. There you go. 
this little bat costume. Okay, so now I have Espresso with me, and she's going to model the costume for us. Hello, Dodge Bushy. Come on, Bushy girl. Good girl. Get you. Push that down your waist a little bit because you're a good girl. Okay, put your head in. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. You look beautiful. Ready? Ready? Spin. Good girl. So you can see, Spoos is a very smart girl. There she starts to spin and then a paw. Where's your paw? Good girl. So yeah, that's it. When you want to take it off, just boop. There you go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully this will help you make some costumes for your rats.